Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about the investment pool, the most important concept after patch 1.5 to grow your economy. The first concept that you must grasp is that all buildings in Victoria 3 have an owner. That owner could be a capitalist, an aristocrat, a shopkeeper, a farmer or combination of them. As you can see, they all contribute in different amounts to the investment pool. You can see who is the owner of each factory by mousing over the last method. In this example, the owner of the clothes, of the factory of clothes is the shopkeepers. But if you change the main production method as, method as you get new technologies, you can see that you are changing automatically the owner of the company. Now they are capitalists and it's a much better option since they save 20% to the saving pool. So all the owners are putting money on the investment pool and you can see that, that if you mouse over balance, then you mouse over investment pool, then you mouse over reinvestment pool, you will see how much they are contributing logging camps, gold mines, iron mines, and so on, furniture, and everyone is putting money on the investment pool. So if you press F3, you are going to see this caption that says they are saving money for another building and you see all the buildings that they have in queue here. You click this button and you see that they are already building uh, this steel mill and the wheat farm in Tucuan and Buenos Aires. And if you see here, these are my, my standard buildings that the government is building. but those are private constructions so you cannot cancel and you can cancel your own constructions but you can do nothing about the private constructions since you're not the, the the one who pays for them therefore these buildings are kind of free and is the way to go to grow in this game and how you can increase your pool well you have lost if you press f1 f1 again as you can see, I have less fair that is the best law because um, let me mouse over. They give, well, they give me another company that is great, but they increase the investment pool. 25 investment pool efficiency and 25% efficiency in the shopkeeper. So the idea here is to swap all your company to capitalists and try to engage in less fair also they are, there are some technologies hmm. for example the stock exchange that is in the social three let me find it stock this for example con is the increases your saving pools 15% uh, farmers and 15% shopkeepers so very good and this one is also great allows you to change the production method for example we are going to go to the buildings and now all the buildings are going to be able to change to this production method method that gives more capitalists so it's, it's kind of not an instant effect but a long-term effect, effect going stock exchange now let me explain you a concept that was kind of confusing for me and I got it just yesterday. In this example I have 84 construction points, but according to your law, in this case laissez-faire, I'm going to be able to use 75% of these points into the private sector and 25 into the public sector. This is a public and this is a private. If I had, let's say, interventionist, I will be able to spend 50% here and 50% of the construction points here. So in this example, we have 84 and we are using in the public sector 25 and 0 0.3. Why? Because that's the 25%. And let's take a look at the public sector. We are using 30 points and 25 points, 0.5 here. Now, if we mouse over the balance, you're going to be seeing a temporary revenue that is the uh, funding, the investment pool transfer, that they are sending 42.6k pounds to pay for the materials of those buildings. So you are buying the materials, but they are paying the materials for you. So you will see an, uh, here that we are spending temporary expensive 
that are construction goods we are spending 60.9 but like I said 75% of those are paid by the private sector but what happens if the private sector run out of money and they stop building take a look at the situation here I already built well the private sector build and they are saving for another so despite I have 85 points I'm only using on the private sector 30 points so all the rest of the points went to the public sector so I'm not building anymore 20 something I'm building almost 60 because I'm not using those points in the private sector I'm using them here and that will have a huge impact on your take a look. if you remember I was saving 26 and now I'm saving 9.k so be careful with that that is the reason when you sometimes are in equilibrium and suddenly you are minus 10 minus 20 and you kind of bankrupt so this means that your balance will be positive or negative from time to time but you must see if it is growing or going down in the average when you see that they are from the middle to the almost full it's time to build another construction sector and you are going to be okay if you get too close to the limit well stop building construction sectors since you are going to be having trouble in because the, the the private buildings are going to be running out very fast and you're going to have a lot of points to build your public buildings are you going to be running out of cash you can compensate that by just forcing the system to build only one queue and that way you are limiting yourself to the money used that it's kind of a tip and by the way I'm Tino I do usually videos about Hearts of Iron I invite you to take a look subscribe if you like this type of video and of course if you enjoyed this video I will thank you very much if you like it thanks for watching and see you on the next one and if you have any question I will try to answer as soon as possible have a nice day bye bye